Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review and today we are diving deep, pun intended, into the world of budget watches with a review of the Casio Diver MDV106 Marlin. But why did I choose this model instead of the newer more easily available the MDV107 and the recent slimmer MDV10? Simple, the iconic Marlin logo which sadly disappears from the newer models and also the fact that this very model has gained popularity over its production time. It is famous for its impressive features and performance at a very affordable price point, making it popular for so many users. Now about the dimensions, if you are used to resin watches, then prepare for something different. This watch weighs 92 grams, measuring 48.5 mm lock to lock, 44.2 mm in diameter without the crown, and 12.1 mm thick. It is water resistant up to 200 meters, as it is a diver's watch, and for the movement, it uses a quartz powered movement with an approximate 3 year battery life using an SR626SW. Okay, that last one might make some of you decide to avoid this watch. Unlike the usual, more pricier diver watch that's using automatic mechanical movement, this watch uses battery powered quartz to keep time. And it has benefits, besides the lower price point, you don't have to wear it every day, no need to wind the spring, and the maintenance is way cheaper. It needs no calibration and you will only have to change the battery every 3 years or so that some of you might be able to do it yourself. Another thing to mention is that with less moving parts, it's going to survive knocks and shocks better. Now the materials. The watch features a sturdy stainless steel case and mineral crystal offering excellent protection against impacts and scratches, while the bezel is made from aluminum and the band for this variant is made from polyurethane resin. Time for a closer look. The stainless steel case is well crafted with a combination of brushed finish at the top and then polished finish on the sides and a different pattern of brushed finish at the bottom. Looks great. Now for the bezel, it rotates one way or unidirectional with the usual diver's 15 minutes decompression markers. The bezel rotates smoothly with a satisfying 120 clicks or half minute per click that you can use for timing of various activities or simply fidgeting and listening to the sound. One thing I don't really care about is that the creeping surface is too smooth, that it slips at times. Then the crystal, it is mineral glass, providing enough protection for the dial while maintaining good clarity for easy reading and also good scratch resistance. Moving on, this model features a polished crown with screw down design which is common in many diver watches. This design protects against water intrusion. When the crown is screwed down tightly against the case, it forms a seal that prevents water from entering the watch case through the crown opening. To adjust the time or date on the MTV106, you would first need to unscrew the crown by turning it counterclockwise until it sprung out and free to operate. You can then pull it halfway to set the date by rotating counterclockwise. Or pull it full stop to set the time. Just don't forget that after making the adjustments, push the crown back in and screw it tightly to seal it back. Now the dial. It features a clean and legible design with large indices and bold hands for easy reading at a glance. Anyway, the second hand is well aligned and looks satisfying when it passes over the indices. Cool, right? 
Outside of the indices is the practical chapter ring that helps to get the detail of minutes or seconds. There's also the date window at the 3 o'clock position, provides additional functionality without cluttering the dial, although a bit smallish. Now let's turn this thing around. This watch uses a screw down case back to ensure its water resistance. And here it features 6 notches for an opening tool. And also we can find engraving of the specifications and also the cool Marlin logo. This variant comes with a decent looking resin band that offers both comfort and durability for everyday wear. Here is the buckle side with the resin keeper and stainless steel buckle. And here's the tail side. The lug width is 22mm using the usual spring bar allowing for easy customization with aftermarket straps for a personalized look. Also, a thing to note is that the lug is curved downward, making it more comfortable on the wrist and easy to fit with a NATO strap. Now, the low light performance. While the loom on the Casio MDV106 Marlin Diver may not be the brightest, it provides just enough visibility in low light conditions for several minutes. The luminous materials on the hands and indices helps legibility. Also the 12 o'clock dot on the bezel making it suitable for various outdoor activities. Here is how this 44mm watch looks on my medium wrist. The MDV106 sits well and wears comfortably on the wrist for extended periods. Of course it's not the lightest as it is using stainless steel but still very wearable. This watch is currently priced at about 50 to 70 US dollars on Amazon and with its impressive features and build quality, that's an exceptional value for money. If you are familiar with the usual price of diver watches, then this one is easily a very competitive option. Now for the pros and cons. On the good side, it has exceptional durability and water resistance. It has reliable quartz movement with a decent battery life. It is clear and legible dial design, cool bezel with precise action, it is comfortable and versatile for everyday wear, and also comes in affordable price point. On the other side, there are also things to consider. It is quite heavy for users that is familiar with resin watches, and then the date window is a bit smallish. Also, the loom brightness may not be the best in low light condition, and the bezel grip is a bit slippery. In conclusion, the Casio MDV106 Marlin Diver is a great choice as an affordable diver watch. With its durable construction, reliable performance, and classic design, it's a timepiece that's just amazing. It will fit for diving purposes or simply if you appreciate a good-looking watch. That's it for today's review. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more watch reviews and tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a great day.